Okay, good afternoon. Just going to do another update. This is the second update. Uh, I've done one on a review on it, and I've done an update on some of the things that uh, I found wrong, which was the the clogging up of this clog at the of the cog at the back. Okay, so that's that's I just found something else as well you might be interested in. I like them; they're good. They do the job. I do my I do work mine quite a lot. Okay, so this is the blade. So when you're purchasing your, if you need extra chains. It'd be a good idea if you purchased another blade and I'll show they're quite well they're heavy they're, they're heavy duty I'm just going to show you something right okay so I've been finding out that she gets a little bit hot and cuts out quite quick so if you look we've got a bearing at the top here which spins around okay and that's your guide okay and that runs all the way down here look okay you've got a little bit of wear on the far end there that a little bit of there uh, I'm going to show you something now so I've just spotted this today she was cutting out and getting quite warm quite quick so you flick it over so this is the this is the bottom part of the blade which is then going through the wood that you're cutting through the wood okay so if you look uh, come on don't don't do this to me okay so if you look here that's turning nicely then you bring your screwdriver down here and then it starts to jam my screwdriver is now j jamming, look. I'm struggling to get that through. And what's happening is, you can see that, it's wearing the blade and causing a bevel to go over. Oh, I can't there. See, it's worn down the blade. Can you see that? You probably can't tell. But it's worn down the blade and it's causing a groove on top and bottom here is a groove now in there oh come on let's see if we can get this thing focused for you guys and girls come on right can you see it it's causing a groove it's making the chain dig into it and the gap is shortening between here because the groove is bending over and jamming the blade so therefore the saw has to work harder so periodically you're going to have to we're going to have to change this blade but also keep an eye on it but i've done a bit of work with this one it's gone magnetic but you can see see it Compared to, see the front bit, pretty good, and then we've got this bit. All right, and flip it over, perfect. There, a little bit of wear, but nothing much because this, the underside, is what's doing all the work. So it's causing a groove and it's making the distance between the two edges come together and that's squeezing the blade there we go another update so when you're purchasing a new chain you might want to consider to purchase a new blade all right take care and we'll definitely catch you uh, p.s sorry just to say this is the chain and this is not called a blade it's called a guide but hey ho i know i'll be corrected otherwise so i'm going to say this is called a guide all right that's it take care definitely catch the next one P.S. You can order them off eBay. They do them. The six-inch guide and the six-inch chain. You can buy as a pair for just under six pounds.